Hey everybody, welcome back to the Sprinkler channel. Today, we're gonna go over how to install your nozzles onto your pop-up heads. So let's get started and get right to it. So first of all, uh, you probably will have, if they're brand new, you're gonna have this flushing cap or bleeder cap on the top of the sprinkler head like that. So after you get done flushing out the sprinkler heads, your, your heads, if it's a new system that all your heads are set, and backfilled all the dirt and everything to make sure that the dirt's not gonna get into the nozzle or filter after you get done installing them. Then when you're ready to the finishing touches, put the nozzles on, then what we'll do is pull it out using that little handle on the cap and you can just unscrew it really quickly, discard that, that's trash now. And then you're gonna have a number of options. The filters might be blue, they might be green, a simple white filter like that. We'll just go ahead and throw this blue one in here like that. Make sure it's seated down in there like that. So make sure it's like that. You have lots of options of which nozzles and which ones you're actually gonna need for the area that you're gonna be watering and the distance that you need it to throw. So we'll go over nozzles, all about nozzles in a different video, so check out that video. But we just have two examples right now. This one's a, a 10 foot full radius, so it'll be spraying out in a 360 if it was in the middle of a grass area, or if we just need a quarter uh, spray, such as in the corner, then we have this 10 inch uh, quarter, which is, it says it on, on each cap. And so now, say, just like this happened, we have it in there, it retracted, we can't get to it, that's fine. You don't need it to be out like we had it. You can just stick the uh, new nozzle in there and just start twisting it just like that. So we'll just twist it down and then I will usually use the edge of my fingernail just to grab the edge of it like that and then just pull it up like that. And it's not quite screwed on all the way so we'll finish screwing it on like that. And then the nozzle's installed, it's ready to spray and then it's just a matter of adjusting it. So as you see right here, the little dash marks is showing you where it's gonna be spraying out, the, the 90 degrees that it'll be spraying out. We have the 10 footer, the Q stands for quarter, so 90 degrees. And as you can see here, here's the port where the water's gonna be coming out. So then we'll just wanna grab the neck of it and just rotate it. It's okay you hear that clicking. Just rotate it to where you have your edges lined up and it's gonna be, you can roughly do it before the water comes on and then you might still need to fine tune it after you turn on the water and you see exactly where the spray is going so you can line it up with the edge of your concrete or the edge of your fence and make sure it's getting the coverage that you need it. And then you're done. So that's it. That's the uh, four inch Hunter Pro Spray with, uh, this is actually a Rainbird nozzle. So. Uh, don't be afraid to interchange the different brands um, because the Hunter and Rainbird stuff usually uh, will be compatible in certain things, you know, specifically in this case, the nozzles, Rainbird nozzles will go on the uh, Hunter pop-up head. So that's how you install a uh, nozzle for the 4-inch pop-up and hope that helps. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and I'll try to get them answered for you. And until next time, we'll see you later.